I like scary. We are back. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you guys, today we're going to talk about some Halloween and speculation and theories, man, I've been thinking about. So we have a few. First thing um, I want to talk about, you guys, is Michael possibly being unmasked for a long amount of time in this movie, um, possibly. Uh, now, this is something I've been thinking about. Now, I don't know if it will happen. Um, I just think it's a possibility, and I don't know how I feel about it. I, I just don't. I don't know about you guys. I like scary, but I've grown, um, you know, as a Halloween fan. Since I was a younger kid, you know, just seeing Michael get that little glimpse of Lori pulling that mask off his face, and we got to see uh, the guy who was under it, um, Tony Warren, and... You know, that, that kind of was like, man, we got to see it is human under there. It is a human, you know what I'm saying? So, um, after that, it was kind of like, I didn't want to see Michael be unmasked, if that makes sense. You know, uh, the mask is like, it's a, it's a, it's a cover up to show you that this might not be a human. You know, it kind of hides the human am, you know, um. We gotta see. We got. We got to see Michael. You know, unmasked in the Halloween Five and stuff like that. But we're talking trilogy, so it's kind of like David Gore and Green. They kind of almost normalized us to see Michael without the mask. Now, I remember in 2018 we saw the trailer, and we got, you know, even in the film, we saw James Jude Courtney. You know, unmasked. We saw him unmasked, and you know, it starts off like that. He's then, you know, he has the all white on. We see him, you know, don't you feel it, Michael, and stuff like that, right? So, um, people are like making this, you know, these comments like, hey, man, if you want to see Michael, just search up James Jude. But that's not the case because in the film, you're up and rolling in your seat and you're looking and you see him get unmasked and you see that dead eye and you just see him. It's like, wow, this is really Michael Myers. Yeah, this is really Michael Myers. You know, you know that feeling where we seen it, it was kind of weird when we saw Karen take the mask off Michael the shape and he's just looking and you can see his face kind of blurred uh but it just shows you the confidence that David Gordon Green has in what he's created in his trilogy to make us kind of comfortable with seeing Michael in some kind of way of him being human you know we get that scene he's chasing Karen he's in the middle of the street and uh you know he he gets the mask he picks it up and he puts it on um, and kills and he kills afterwards we get the scene in 2018 he's he's banging a podcaster's head up against the door we see the so it's kind of become something normal so now i've thought about this you guys uh through this this trilogy we've seen so much aimed towards this mask not so much towards the house um we saw michael being involved with the house a lot you know standing in the window anyone that comes in his way takes him out um but you know when you think about it uh michael He's being targeted because of this mask a lot. You know, we got Lance, he's trying to take it off. He chokes her, throws her, throws her up against the car. Um, you hear Lori say, I want to take his mask off and, you know, see the life leave his eyes. Um, Karen takes it off. Pa Karen starts teasing him with it. So um, he goes after the mask. It's something, you know, with the mask involved. Now, I'm not saying it's no power or nothing, but I'm saying this. We're talking, obviously, people want to see the human in him. We want to see why do you, you know, what the fuck are you doing under that mask, you know? And, you know, Lori and Lindsay are all going after it. Karen takes it off just to see the face of the man who's done this. And um, I feel like that's going to be the case with this uh, Halloween ants. I mean, they're going out, you know, with a bang, possibly, us the ending. It's Halloween. It's not, like, you know, a weak franchise. So, uh, I kind of thought about what if they kind of, like, someone gets the mask and hide it from Michael? Or what if they damage it? Like, what if it's something like, not Halloween 2018, where they took like 75% of the eye and they rip it. But what if we get multiple stages of this mask throwing through the battle of him and Lori, you know? What if Lori kind of snatches something off and it's like, you can see his eye and he's looking a little bit. But don't, it, I know it sounds like Rob Zombies, but don't do it as much or don't kind of do it to the point he looks different kind of keep a piece of the mask to make it you know what i'm saying just i don't know or make someone like allison get the mask maybe they're kind of hiding to see how michael maneuvers without the mask you know um we know he kills still without the mask he's still purely and simply evil without the mask but um i think people want to see how he is if that makes sense now i don't know if you guys feel how i feel right now but I, i'm kind of scared like you know seeing michael because that scene where you see him 
collars up he's chasing karen and it's like that oh the opera type music and you know that's michael walking and you see a human but they're walking like michael they're walking real stiff so i want to i want to know if it ends we can possibly see some scenes with michael being unmasked again and that's kind of frightening in a way because the mask kind of i rather i rather see michael with the mask if that makes sense um but i can definitely see them doing like lori finally get to achieve what she wanted which is take the mask off michael and thank you guys if halloween ends is having a lot of fan service for 78 and a lot of hat tips because it's the ending what happened in 78 they're battling and Lori takes the mask off of him and he just puts it back on and loma shoots him now, i'm not saying it's going to go that way but what would be cool if Lori does it again she tries to go for it again she's like he's breathing like and she takes it off but she sees him and they like lock eyes and he's like and like he swipes at her and it shows you like he's still evil without that mask this is michael myers he swipes like at her and she's like oh like and they're fighting or maybe we get a moment where he's choking her and she gets to look the evil in his eyes and it shows you that this shit is just, it's deep with Michael. Um, I can see them doing that, having Lori be the one to take the mask away from him, or possibly Allison. Um, like I'm saying, they might not even damage the mask. Maybe they just take it off and throw it. Or maybe someone takes it off and, you know, try to run off with it. I don't see them doing that. But, uh, you know, we got the copycat killer Corey now. I don't, that's one question that needs to be answered. I don't know how Corey could possibly get Michael's mask. Um... You know, we don't know too much. You know, I can see like if the battle was earlier and I'm like, they battle a few times, Lori and Michael battle a few times. And, you know, she takes the mask off and Corey obtains it and Michael doesn't have his mask for a while. He got to kill Corey to get it back and find Corey. That could be a thing. But um, I possibly think that's the last, you know, battle that Michael, because she has the blue shirt on. So I'm pretty sure that's it. But I can see Lori taking the mask off and seeing how Michael works without the mask on. Um, we still got Allison involved and stuff like that. Um, so comment down below, you guys, what you think? Do you guys think that Michael would be more maskless in this movie? Um, are you scared to see that? Like, I'm, you know, it's in a way, it's like I love James Drew Courtney because he's an awesome guy. But, like, when he's Michael, bro, it's kind of creepy when he gets the mask took off. And, you know, that eyes right there, the, 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 the freaking graze, bullet mark or whatever. It's kind of wild when you think about it. So, um, and something else I want to talk about, you guys, is... What will bring Michael Myers back to Haddonfield? Or even he's still in Haddonfield in the sword, but what will bring him back out to kill? Now, um, we know that Michael is, no, you know, the night he came home. He always wants to come home, Halloween night and stuff like that. So, um, I wonder, like, someone had threw this out to me and said, what if this was all supposed to just happen one night? You know, 78 killed his sister and everything. It's like one night and it just got dragged on because of stuff that happened in the middle what if he just killed that one night in 1978 and you know he broke out the asylum and killed but all the whole time he hasn't been home in that long he just wants to go home you know he's missed home or something like that that's that's all he knows he still has the brain of a kid and he wants to go home but along the way it's created more issues more problems and, sto and, and stories to be talked about because people are getting in the way of michael going home as you see lonnie said if you line up all of michael's kills it lines up with the house so this is what i'm telling you guys when you think about it that it is true when hawkins and dr sartain was in the car they pulled up on michael he was just walking by himself not bothering anyone i'm not saying he's innocent but you guys know what i mean listen and then they pull up on michael and stuff and now of course michael he he you know he gets fucking hit by the car and stuff. Now that creates a situation. Dr. Sartain brought him to Lori. And that created a situation. Like Hawkins told him it was never about you. Maybe Michael is like he misses his home. Maybe that's all he knows. He's like a kid trying to find his home. But he's still evil as hell. Because he'll kill you if you're in his face. You know, the great white shark. He's like a killer shark. And it's like, you know, I think, you know, that's kind of interesting. You know, if that makes sense. Um... It is. It's really interesting when you think about it. So interesting because woman spoke on Michael going home and everything. And, you know, remember Tommy Doyle? That's the boogeyman's house. It's something with the house, too. So um, I was saying, you guys, <clears throat> maybe something just happens to the house. I keep saying it in previous videos that, you know, maybe the house gets damaged. Maybe some crazy person in that mob from Kills decides to really damage the house and bulldoze it. And Michael has... 
nothing to come back to and something makes him come back out and obviously it's something it can't be you know it, the house cannot be that involved i don't think because it's like like you know i mean it can be involved but not that involved to the point that it's up and nothing's wrong with it if that makes sense because i feel that michael's been gone for four years so he usually comes home you know halloween night every halloween night it's no november 1st nothing like that it's always halloween night so maybe michael that's kind of showing me that this house can possibly be gone you guys you know david gordon green you know bulldozer is in effect he said it so what if the house gets taken away from michael and that's kind of like it's going to be a different michael now i know david gordon green said that uh this michael's not going to be as brutal as kills but he's looking angry in the trail he's launching Lori across um you know he's choking Corey. um i, I don't know man what if like I told you guys, I'm gonna say it again. What if, you know, Corey goes looking for trouble? He's up, he's so obsessed with Michael and the story, and he has like, you know, stuff going on. And he is the copycat. He is the one dressing up like Michael. And um, he's the one that goes out looking for him because he know they, they haven't found a body. But the myth is he's somewhere still out there. And where that house was and it's gone or it's not there, he's somewhere in the area. And they just he just kind of ventures off into the sewer. And Michael kind of gets him. And that's how Michael comes back. And maybe he says something. You know, Michael's not dumb. Maybe he said Michael knows who people are like Lori and shit. So maybe he's choking him. He's like, yeah, I know Allison. I know all. I don't know, but something is going to bring Michael out, and it's all about what will bring him out. And I think we're seeing that a hand comes out, and it's Michael. So maybe that can bring him out. Maybe Corey's the reason Michael comes out, and Lori and Allison has to stand behind Corey. You know, um, they said he's accused of killing someone he's babysitted so that could possibly be it like i said what if in kills uh that same night when karen dies a couple hours later that happens michael goes a couple blocks down and does something and Corey gets accused of it so it's like maybe you know if he's not obsessed with michael he's trying to tell these guys that michael has done it he's trying to convince people that michael's done it he's innocent and alice is going to work with him because like i said maybe him and allison are dating um not right there at that moment but in the future he gets to kind of uh talk to alice and they grow to like each other or they're just friends and you know Lori's writing her book and uh maybe he's the one asking like what's the book about and that's how his you know his obsession grows because he wants to you know look into what Lori's writing about you know myers and shit like that so it can just be so much but i do think michael can possibly be maskless more in this because they were aiming for it throughout the trilogy and yeah i think Corey is probably going to be the reason that michael comes back or i told you guys allison can just be so pissed that she lost everybody in her life that she's the reason she goes digging and somehow some way she gets back involved with michael and Lori has to come and protect her granddaughter and that's how Lori gets back involved and they say it can be something along that line or someone just ends up running into michael they cross him like Corey, and it's michael's entrance to the film he comes you know like 78 she Lori, you know kind of cross paths with michael now we have this big franchise so you know what i'm saying so you guys, unfortunately, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to hit me on my social media. I like scary on Instagram. I like scary 77 on TikTok. Brand on Facebook. And I like scary on Twitter. And don't forget, you guys, become a member of the Patreon. See the exclusive content and benefits of the channel. And right there where it says subscribe, next to it, click, you guys. And you can become a channel member. Um, get exclusive, nice, cool badge next to your name. Be invited to private watch parties and other, you guys. Um, and also, check out the official I like scary merch store. And I want you guys to watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace out.